In this video, we're going to talk about rotating objects in SketchUp. So the first thing you'll need to do is select the object that you want to rotate. If I click on this object, it will just select the face. If I double click, it will select the face and the edges. If I triple click, it will select the whole object. Now we're ready to rotate it, but I would recommend that you go ahead and right click the object and make it a component. So if you triple click, right click, and then make component, all you have to do is click on the object once and all of the parts of the object, like these faces and lines, won't be separated when you make changes. So now we're going to rotate the object. So the rotate tool is right here. I'm in the free version of SketchUp. If you hit Q on your keyboard, it will bring up the rotate tool. That's the shortcut. Now, many people have a problem with the fact that the protractor here changes from blue to red to green. And the way to fix this is hit the up arrow key if you wanna lock it into blue, left arrow key for green, right arrow key for red. Now you can think of these uh, colors as the way you're going to spin it. So if you see the red one here, it would spin the cube this way. And if I hit up and it's blue, it's gonna spin around here on the ground. So let me give you an example. If I have the blue protractor and I click on this corner, the first corner you click will be where the object is going to pivot on. And then the next one will be the part of the object that you're going to move. So I just clicked on the second corner here. I can just drag it like this. Now, instead of trying to eyeball, say like 90 degrees, I can just type in 90 and hit enter. Or if I hit 180, enter, just like that. So that's how you work that. If I were to hit Q for the rotate tool, left arrow key, lock it into green, I could click on this corner, then click on this one and rotate it this way, right? And then, if I were to hit the right arrow key for the red axis, I could click on this corner and this corner and it would rotate this way. So that is how you use the rotate tool. And like I said, you can type in 180, 90, whatever you wanna do, it's that simple. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.